Thanks very much. Good morning and welcome uh, from myself as well to the Inspiring Future Women in Science Conference. Uh, I'm just thrilled to have the opportunity to sponsor this conference uh, because I love the idea of encouraging more young women into, into a career in science just as uh, I have done and all these wonderful speakers that you're going to hear from uh, this morning have done as well. So uh, faced with a, a theater full of young women, I can't resist giving a little bit of advice. My children no longer want to listen to my advice, so I, it's always nice when I have a captive audience of teenagers. So uh, you know, you're probably thinking a little bit about uh, what do I want to do when I graduate high school? What's my next uh, step? So I like to give three pieces of advice to young people as they're contemplating that. The first one, obviously, you're going to pick an area of study that interests you, right? Something that, that you're naturally curious about. But I would suggest you do two more things uh, as you settle in on, uh, on that choice. One is think about what are the different careers that I could do uh, after studying that particular, uh, that particular field? Uh, and understand what's the demand for jobs in that area. That's important because if you've studied something and then you graduate and find that A, you don't like the jobs that are available, or B, there is no jobs available, uh, that there's too much supply and not enough demand, then that's, that's an area of concern. And also understand a little bit about the earnings potential of those positions. And everybody has different expectations, right, of what they want to, to earn and the kind of lifestyle that you want to have. And I just think you should make sure that there's a, a match, right, that the job that you envision doing and the, and the earnings potential of that matches up with the kind of lifestyle that, that you envision. And just make sure that, uh, that there's a match there. Because I think sometimes you see as well uh, young people graduating university and being disappointed because they're not happy with the potential that they find. So uh, obviously, I think science and technology are great choices uh, for anyone who's naturally curious about the world around them, around, about how the world works. Uh, for sure, there's huge demand for careers in science and technology, enormous demand. We are always looking for engineers, technologists, people in quality, skilled trades people, uh, all kinds of different applications of science and technology. And the earnings potential is great. So I feel like it really checks the boxes on a lot of all of those areas for anyone who's, as I say, naturally curious about what happens around them and how things work. Now, I know you might be thinking, well, there's not very many women in those areas of study. But I can tell you that that's not the case. The, the numbers are, are really changing. And I feel like the momentum is building in terms of women in science and technology. There's probably 20 times the women studying in engineering and sciences and in, in technology today than there were 25 years ago when myself and some of the other folks you're going to hear from were, were studying science. You know, when I started out in the automotive industry, I was often the only woman in the room, or maybe there might have been one or two others. But again, I feel like that's really changing. I mean, there's all kinds of women in the automotive industry today, whether it's in the supply side, uh, like ourselves, uh, or the automakers themselves. I mean, the, auto, the CEO of one of the largest automakers in the world, General Motors, is a woman and an engineer, uh, by the way. Uh, so it's great to see that momentum building. So don't feel like, oh, I don't want to choose that because there's not enough women. That You're going to find that that's not uh, the case. And also, I feel like I, I personally never felt like if there was a situation where, you know, there wasn't as many women around that it was an issue for me. And probably because I didn't let it become an issue for me. And that's another little piece of advice that I have for you, that you not... Don't look for negative, right? If you're, if you're looking for somebody to be critical of you, to think less of you because you're a woman or because you're whatever, young, uh, whatever it might be, you're going to find it. Don't, don't dial into that frequency. I just, ne I just didn't dial into that frequency. I thought about what I had to do, the job that I had to do. I did a good job. I worked hard, and I proved myself. And I just never focused on those negative currents that may or may not have been there. I don't know. I wasn't looking for them. And people get past it pretty quick if you get past it quickly as well. So keep focused, study hard, do your job well, and people quickly forget about any preconceptions they may have had about you. And I, I really feel like if you keep performing, you get 
you get attention. You know, I remember I joined a, a board, like a, the board of a, of a company a few years back, which at the time was all men in, in the auto industry. And one of the directors said to me, oh, you know, you're joining this board uh, of all these men. It's going to be um, a challenge for you. And I remember thinking, it's going to be a challenge for me. This is the story of my life. It's probably going to be a challenge for you. You're the one who's not used to having a, a woman around. So anyhow, uh, last thing I'll say before I hand it over to this fantastic lineup of speakers is, I think you young women are particularly very lucky because your homes are here in southwestern Ontario, right in the heart of an incredible ecosystem of technology and science. There's an incredible amount going on in this region, in those areas of science. This institute, you know, the Perimeter Institute, the, the premier institute globally for the study of theoretical physics, and it's right here in our backyard. I mean, there's things going on here and work going on here that's gonna fundamentally change the way we live over the next 100 years. And we're, we're living right beside it. I mean, that's an incredible opportunity. And you know, all kinds of incredible universities and colleges and incubators, accelerators that are helping students coming out of those, uh, out of those institutions to start up companies. In fact, did you know that this area in southwestern Ontario is the second largest technology cluster in North America, next to Silicon Valley? And it has the second highest density of technology and science-based startups, so companies starting up, in the world. That's incredible. And we're living in the middle of this. Like, there's such opportunity for young people in science and technology to find a job. And, you know, when, when you think about how fast things are evolving right now in terms of technology, in terms of things like artificial intelligence and machine learning that are allowing us to do things dramatically differently than we ever did before. There's going to be less and less sort of unskilled jobs. And all we're going to need are people with skills, right? People who are able to program and process and think about tooling optimization for us in the manufacturing industry, for instance. Uh, think about how to improve cycle times and reduce cycle times and improve flow and, uh, you know, more, more of these uh, thinking jobs and skilled jobs, technical jobs, scientific engineering jobs are going to be much more required than unskilled jobs. So even more reason really to uh, focus on a career in science uh, and technology. So you've all made the right first step because you're all here today to learn a little something about uh, careers and how to work in science and technology. So congratulations on that. I hope you have a fantastic morning. Uh, I hope you learn something new. And ultimately, of course, I hope you decide to pursue a career in science and technology and hopefully uh, uh, talk uh, some young woman friend of yours uh, into doing the same. So have a great morning.